one of the uh, future successes is gonna have to be with young adults. Uh, we've done a very good job of getting our senior citizens vaccinated, uh, of getting our essential workers vaccinated. Uh, but where we see uh, now a lot of the increasing positive cases coming from young adults. So um, wh what would you say as far as uh, what is the, the future hold for vaccinating youth and young adults? You know, um, and just for a little background on this, I kind of researched our COVID cases for the last 14 days. I just went back 14 days and I tried to find all the people that were age 40 and younger that are testing positive for COVID. So in the last 14 days, we had 51 new cases of COVID. And of those 51 cases, we had 32 of them that were 40 and younger um, that were actually positive. So that's 63% of the people who just tested positive are of the younger uh, population. And um, that's what we need to focus on. And with Pfizer possibly next week, hopefully moving their vaccine down to age 12 and older, um, that's really gonna help us get a hold and a grip on the COVID cases we're seeing in the younger ages. Um, you know, I think just looking at the data that we I collected or we collect over the last 14 days, um, the more people that get vaccinated, especially in the younger ages, the quicker we're gonna get back to our summer activities, the quicker school and uh, normal activities can resume. Um, even bus routes, if we look at the bus routes, they were they were cut short a lot um, and parents are really having to, to take their kids into school and pick them up, which is um, an inconvenience for them. But if we could get our numbers back down and uh, the more people we have vaccinated, uh, the more we're gonna be able to get back to normal. So on the, the, the breaking news uh, this week of Pfizer, hopefully next week, lowering their age of eligibility down to 12, uh, we won't be the only county wanting Pfizer. Uh, it, that, that'll be a popular ask uh, of every county, but um, we would certainly try to prioritize the supply of Pfizer we would get uh, for that school-aged children, 12 to 18, that aren't eligible for the other two va vaccines. Would that be fair to say? Absolutely, yes. And I'd even be willing to, um, if we can get it done fast enough and get the va Pfizer vaccine, um, to go into the schools to help get the age 12 and 18 students vaccinated um, to help speed up the process and make it more convenient for the parents so they don't have to take off work. There's a lot of 12 to uh, 18 year olds that can't get themselves independently to a clinic. Correct. 